Uh-oh. It is 37 degrees out. And it's like freezing rain. Wow. Ow. Do I actually pick up the smoke show today? I don't know. Yikes. Oh, I got a second day here. We're out working in a nasty day. Tomorrow's supposed to be sunny and nice, but huge wind gusts tomorrow. So, winter isn't over yet, even though you... Wow. I think the winter is over, but it's not. And look at this. 36. We've seen the temperature drop from 44 to 36. So, yikes. What do we do? Smoke show day. Hey, welcome to Ice Age TV part two of smoke. What is it? Smoke screen? Show smoke? What the hell is it? Smoke show? I can't even remember. I can't remember what the heck the name of that thing is. But yeah, I think we're going to head to the dealer and go check out the, uh, the show smoke. Smoke show. <laughs> Car and see if we bring her home. So follow us along as we do another adventure of buying another car. What do I give up after I buy this, right? So the kid's coming here any second, but she's kind of like there right now. So are you ready? So if you, if you, what's the color of the car? If you guess it wrong, we're not getting it. Smoke show. What? Smoke show. Ooh, wow. What year is it? <laughs> 2020. How many miles are on it? 13, nope. like five. Nope. Yeah, it's 13. Nope. Nope. 13. 14. 14. No, so it's you want 13. to bet the deal on the mileage? No. Do so you want to bet the deal that I bet you I'm right and you're wrong? And if I'm right, we don't do the deal? How do you know? Because uh, I'm a person that looks at things. How do you know? Well, come on. You wait, are you willing to wager your bet that you're so, you're so sure of yourself? I never said I was. Huh? Okay. Oh. What's Prancer's registered name? Uh, it's a something running bear. What's the gypsy, full of it? It's a gypsy running bear. <laughs> well, why are you laughing? Did I get it right? Huh? Oh my god. Didn't win on that one, did you? Didn't win on that one. I can't believe you know it. Oh my gosh. Well, who bought the horse? Okay. The money on that thing there so many years ago. Anyways, so the kids, is the kid excited? Is the kid excited? Yeah. How excited is the kid? Is it really worth it? I mean, are you really going to have time to drive that with all your other cars you have in your collection? I mean, I, the record, I kind of think it's my car too. It's you know? not. Oh, but, wow. Um, wow. I'm wow. Hearing this? Wow, I'm being called out. I really like that car, and I love the Scat Pack, but I hated the manual, and I don't like the Gold Rush as much as So you show. think this is more the package? This is more me. Not a 50-year-old guy. Oh, wow. You're going to get called out again. Wow. How about that, huh? Yeah, all right. Well, let's go evaluate our... Our... What numbers? I can already know the numbers. Yikes! All right, everybody, follow along here. Follow oh, along. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right Turn here. Off the camera. Turn off the camera. Oh no! Yikes! All right, zero to sixty from a dead spot, right Whoa. in the power boost. What if someone's coming? How to do? How to do? How to do? Man. All right, the smoke show is getting closer now. If you follow my channel, this is where that car was, Dulles auto outlet and that's the same owner here is just Dulles Dodge look at the inventory look at all the Jeepers yep yeah they got a lot of Jeeps what's that all about right wow people the good old days take the Jeep wave. <clears throat> and people are getting sick of the Jeep wave so therefore they're getting rid of their Jeep oh okay makes sense so where did they put oh there it is it's up there in the corner 
all by itself being protected. Oh, there is, is that a smoke show? But that color is not available anymore, just so you know. That color oh. is no longer produced. I'm glad. So this is a very, you know, much more limited production car here. Wow. Let's get out and see. All right, here it is. The 2020 Dodge Challenger Wide Body 392 Scat Pack. What's it also called? What's the name of it? 392 Scat Pack Wide Body 2020 Challenger with a 6.4. What's the color of it? Smoke Show. Okay. All right, boys. To those windows, I think we had, I think we had to probably redo the tent. What I do you like think? It. It's just so dark. I like it. You'll definitely get nailed in Virginia in that one. I like the tent. Being it's gonna be Virginia registered. Oh. Wow. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go in and let's see what they have to say. Can we make the deal go down? What do you think? Get in front of it. How do you look? Is that you? Is that you? Would you give up your Mustang right now for his car? Would you give up your Mustang right now for that car? <laughs> no. No. I'm blown I, away. I love this. Mustangs are I, dime a dozen. I love this. The Mustangs are dime a dozen. If this had a cat back exhaust, I probably would. Okay. Making headway. All right. Let's go inside and see the gang. See who's waiting for us. There you go. See here, you get this. Want to get this? Want this one instead? We could get the Daytona. We could get the Viper. Get the Viper. Let's get the Viper. Let's just buy the Viper. Come on, I'll just cross the bridge and I'll buy the Viper. Let's just do it. All right, we got a proud new owner of a Hellcat. No, I mean a Scat Pack. Wow, this is bad. Wow, this is bad. That is sweet. That, this is not factory job. Holy bro. I want to call up underneath there and see what's going on. All right, you know, you can put it in rain mode if you have to. You know how to do that? Yeah, really rainy day. And do we really want to... We... Hey, thank you. Thank her. Yeah. Yikes, right? All right, let's do the walk around here. We definitely get the, definitely get the markers chinned out. All right. Wow. I love it. All right, let me get you an official picture of you. Oh, my birth date month. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, get in the car and you pull her out for me. Ooh, there's a beautiful Ram truck over there. That's dangerous. Yikes. All right. I so you, you got to do all your stuff. Let me see the seats. Get out. What are the seats here? These are the uh, Alicantra, the leather. There's the wow. passenger side. Wow. Yeah, she's right. Let's go check that out. <clears throat> yeah, all right. All right. Let's go. Is this this is a manual seat over here though? But here you go. Why are the windshield wipers not going? What now, babe? Turn on your uh, you hit the just put on the start button. Oh. There you go. I forgot. Yeah, I know. You're good. Let's kind of get this up a little more. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right. I gave you the second key. What now? I gave you the yep, key. I got the second key. You got your key, right? Yeah. Okay. Just checking. Right. I'm gonna connect my phone. Okay, do your thing. All right, there we are. What do you think? Oh, we gotta make sure the lock is in the uh, in the glove box. Yep, it fits. This would be a little bit of a project. If you forget to have this. So, kids loving it. She is excited. I think she'd part. I think she'd part with that GT Mustang. I think she'd give it up for this if she had to. All right, supposedly these are aluminum carbon wheels. 
I, I don't even really know a lot about that, but that's what they're talking about. Aluminum carbon wheels. Wow. And I think that's like an $1,800 upgrade. You ready? Yeah. All right, pull out so I can get a little bit of exhaust note for you. Let's see here. Should our seat belt. All right, look at that there, huh? Pretty cool, right? Wow. Just can't believe it. Hey, we got the kid coming up here on us. Just check it out. See how she looks. How about that, huh? Is that pretty snazzy or what? On a rainy afternoon. I like it. Oh, watch out. Look at that. You know, there's how it all plays out, man. This type of stuff plays out all the time. You go get a new car and bing, bam, crash. Goodbye. I wonder how that exhaust sounds. It's kind of hard to hear with all this rain and everything else going on, you know? So I'll speed up the tires. Get back behind me here. It's a good looking rig. I figured I'd do a little YouTube video. What you thinking there? I think it's really good. How's the exhaust note? It's uh, like I hear it. Yeah. Right. It's nice. Right. What? What do you? What setting? You having just auto setting right now? Yeah, I don't really think the rain is. is like icy, so you're kind of yeah, no, I know. With that. Yeah, but I'm seeing. But, just leave. Um, what? Yeah, you're just leaving it in its regular mode. Yeah, it's you. It's just raining out. It's not like snowing. Yeah, I know. I didn't know if you changed up the uh, the modes. That's all I was asking. Yeah, no, not yet. Cause it's no. not right weather. Right, exactly. That's good. You got the heated seat on? Yeah. Yes. Right. It's very comfortable. Yeah, it is. It's a great road car, isn't it? Yes. Anything sticking out that you like, like about it? Anything sticking out that you really like about it as you drive it? Um, I like how quick it is. Really? I think that thing would give your Mustang a run for its money. I agree. To me, it being it's automatic. That's the only reason I'd say that. Automatic to automatic, it wouldn't be. But manual to automatic, I think that would definitely have the lead there. And is, yeah, it, is the interior too dark for you, or you, is it okay? Well, I have a sunroof, so I have it open, and it's very light. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? I always wanted a sunroof. Oh, wow. Yeah. None of my cars have that. Right. You know, those, I really like sunroofs. When I rode in that car with you, those aluminum wheels, I can feel that. That car feels a little lighter. Very floaty. Floaty? Flotatious. Yeah, because it's a road car. Yeah, I, I, I'm just saying, like, very flotatious. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah, it looks good. Right now, it's like a really sharp car. I like it better than the gold. Oh, yeah, for sure. That yep. gold rush just hurts my eyes sometimes. Oh, my gosh. Yikes. Plus, people made I, fun I of like it. I like it. <laughs> no. At school. It's not about that. Yeah. Okay, I like the color, but, like, for every day, it's, yeah, it's kind of tiring. 
Yep. Whereas oh, I get the it. The smoke show. This smoke show is much more enjoyable to look at for my eyes. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, who would imagine you have another Dodge Challenger in the lineup a year later? Was it a it year? Was it a year ago? Been uh, yeah, right. In May. Okay, I can't keep track. Yeah, okay, remember I told you? Remember I told you a while back we should find you a nice used scat pack. Yeah. Probably didn't think it happened this fast. I didn't either. In all reality, in all reality, I probably would have waited till like I summer. You, I thought you meant like in a year or two. Yeah, well, with the market as hot as it is, I just came to closure that. You keep on sitting it out, they're gonna get more expensive, not cheaper. I really love the way this is set up. Yeah, I know, it's a great car. There's a big tractor, oh, no, is it a tractor trailer? Yeah, this guy's a big guy. Coming down the road here and tight roads and you got it, you're good. Yeah, well, well, you gonna drive it tomorrow? Yeah. Change the horse? I really like this. Yeah, what do we got to get well, for it? The rock blockers or whatever? The flaps. Yeah, right. I don't know if I will drive this to the horse yet. Yeah, I know. Tomorrow's supposed to be a really windy day where a lot of debris could be on the road, so be really careful. I would rather wait till... Sunday, the car uh, show. If we have the, yeah. We can take I, the... I would, I'm probably just going to drive my truck. Yeah, we can take the, uh, the Twin Challengers, the car show. I would like that. You know what I mean? That would be a good showing for us. I wish tomorrow wasn't windy because I would want to wash this off. Well, by late in the afternoon, it may not be so bad. But, you know, you can wipe it down yeah. tonight in the shop. We're going to put it in the shop. We're going to leave it outside. My thoughts are I'll park that. Oh, maybe I'll wipe. I'll, I may wipe it down inside. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have road film on it. The you know, speed shine will clean it all up. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it'll go over nice. the interior. I think the interior needs to be cleaned up more. I think the leather seats need to be treated. I agree. They look a little dull. Yeah. Right. So they have to be conditioned. So is everything shifting okay? Brakes feel good? No funky rattles or noise or anything? Uh, no, I really love it. Okay. Well, it's a used car, and I think the car has been taken well care of, so I think it's a good car. It's really nice. But now for the record, there's another high, not high mileage, but it's interesting. I've bought all these used cars lately, and there's another car that's got decent mileage on it, and that's something. So for you now, that's probably the highest now second mileage car that you've owned. The Ram has 84,000 miles. Right, so that's your first one, and the second one would be this. Yeah. Because you're... I kind of prefer used. Oh, yeah, for sure. I kind of prefer used because they're broken in. Yep, right, yeah. And if they're not... And if somebody hasn't abused it, then you... You know, if somebody finds my cars, they've been blessed. Yes. You know what I mean? And the tires, I didn't really look at the tires the day we drove it, but I checked them out before you left. And tires have great tread on them. I don't know if those are the original tires or not, but if they are, they still have really good tread. And that just means somebody didn't really abuse the car, if you know what I mean. Yeah. You wouldn't let me go to the gym today in this, would you? I wouldn't. But can I go to the gym in general? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep, yeah, because you're just being so much traffic. You know, it's right now four o'clock. You're just being heavy, heavy traffic. You're just being so exposed to that car right now. I mean, I just think it's a good idea. I so can I go to the gym? Yeah, but I would drive like the truck or something. You know what I mean? I wasn't really planning on driving this. I just meant like I yeah. want to go to the gym today. Yeah, yeah, I know. And if it was earlier in the day, I wouldn't oppose it. But this late in the day. 
you know, I just don't, I just think it's Murphy's Law. It's like that guy back there that pulled out in front of us across that main road. Okay. You saw that, right? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. As you were going up the hill on Route 7, you didn't say that person cut Obviously, across? Obviously, I saw it. Obviously, I saw it. What do you think I am? A bat? I don't know. <laughs> How's the exhaust sounding I now? Saw it, Dad. How's the exhaust sounding I now? Love it. Does it give it a little I bit of a growl? Yeah. Okay. It does. You know where the traction control off and on thing is, right? Yes. Okay. All right, baby. I'm going to let you have your peace and quiet. Enjoy the car, okay? Okay. Bye bye. And there you go, another Ice Age TV car adventure. Yeah, crazy. And yeah, that's the thing. I really feel like these Hellcats and these Challengers are really, I think they're going to get harder to find. And I think that the ones you start finding, they're going to want a pretty penny for them. I just really believe that this product, I mean, once again, the Dodge Challenger Charger platform is done. You're down to 10 more months if that of production but here's the next thing they're telling me at the dealership the ram trx is done 2023 that's it because the hellcat motor is done so when you stop building the hellcat motor in 2023 you're not gonna be able to go buy a durango hellcat you're gonna be able to buy a trx ram truck in 2024 so anybody here watching my channel if you're on the fence of buying a trx you better get your order in because uh 2023 is the last year of the Hellcat motor and then the Hellcat platform as far as all the vehicles and all that stuff it's all done wow wow and then it's over forever yeah for where we're going in this country in the world it's over the high performance gas engines are bye bye and the 392 apparently Jeep Wrangler is over as well so 2023 is the last run of the 392 Jeep Wrangler. This is all from the sales guy at the dealership that seems to, he's a huge motorhead and he seems to know what he's talking about. And so he's just saying that, nope, this is your last grab. And they've got a 392 Jeep Black Wrangler Rubicon package with the special 35 inch uh, wheel package, tire package defense package i don't know what it's called per se but, but anyways they have one of those coming in the middle of this month they're like take it i'm like uh but it's like ninety two thousand it's like ninety one thousand dollars yikes yeah if you think about it if i really would have stayed just true mopar and think it through if i ever would have just stayed true to mopar and i would have i have the hellcats and then i would have bought the jeep srt hellcat uh, Wagoneer, then I would have bought the Durango Hellcat, I would have bought the Ram TRX Hellcat, and then I would have bought the Jeep uh, Wagoneer 392 package, and I would have bought the Viper um, car, oh my gosh, and then if I would have had the Scat Pack, you know, I mean, if I would have just bought all that stuff, think about that, but uh, the collection I would have, you know, it's crazy, I don't know if you watch my YouTube channel, so a nice F8 green Dodge Challenger wide body. Challenger just came in the other day. We were at the dealership getting the oil change. I was like, wow, that's really nice. Who got that car? So some customer uh, ordered it. And the gentleman that sold me my car, he delivered to the guy's house. The guy has 35 vehicles. <laughs> A lot of them are the vintage, antique, you know, specialty. And I'm like, wow, yeah. Defense contractor. Yeah, my line. Defense contractor. So he watches my channel. Yeah, I'm I'm chump change, man. I am chump change. I'm not I'm not complaining, but I just think it's history seeing how many people out there. They just they're just loaded beyond loaded, but they don't share. They don't share. That's why for years I've been very resistant to share what I have because I know the perceptions will be that's just some rich ass thing again. But anyways, let's just leave that alone for the day. The smoke show has come to an end yes the show has come to an end we are getting back in 
And as always, I appreciate everybody watching my channel. And stay tuned for more conversations and adventures. And we'll definitely do the car show on Sunday with the smoke show and gold rush. And how will that look? That'll be pretty cool. Pretty good showing. So once again, thanks for sh thanks for showing or watching and blah blah blah. And stay safe. God bless. And stay tuned.